Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We're here everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the third episode of the second season of Golden Kamui! So, in the previous episode, we saw Tsukushima, like, I have a lot of respect for Tsukushima, I'm not even going to lie. Like, he may be, like, one of the more minor characters, but him showing off his loyalty, like, after the whole mine ride fiesta, explosions everywhere, it was insane. Like, he still managed to make it out of there and get the fakes uh, to Surumi, as we saw at the end of the previous episode. Uh, but we also saw everyone together in the previous episode, which... I don't think that's going to last, like, long. I mean, we had, like, the Sugimoto party, obviously, and then Hijikata, Yushiyama, Ogata, like, everyone was together. I'm just like, wow, this is weird. Like, really weird. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to hop into this episode, everyone, see what else we have going on with Golden Kamui. We're hopping into this. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to get started here in three, two, one. For them, it, they haven't confirmed whether or not he's Tsukushima, which we know he ended up getting the them to Surumi. Yeah, he's with Surumi. So, and also Edo guy, who we got his introduction at the beginning of the season, and he's already he's out. He's he's dead. <laughs> like the way he went out, though, it was it was definitely in a, in a special way. <laughs> I'm gonna just chuck that in here to Oh They have soldiers station here. Oh my god. Is that new, that, that helmet he has on? I think that's new. That has to be new. I don't remember that being on it, him wearing something like that. <laughs> I remember what Surumi did with his ear, but... I'm I'm curious as to what's going to happen with like Shirashi though, know, with what he's been keeping away from Sugimoto and and the Serpa. Like, I wonder if he's just gonna break it to him, or Sugimoto and them are somehow gonna find out like, that he's been hiding this from him, has been pretty much working with Hijikata and them. I'm curious as to that, and the whole fake fake Ainu thing as well it has me curious like with Kiro Ranke. Those two in particular, with our party, I'm really, really curious to see what's going to happen. we go let's talk about the past okay episode 15 there's the fake Surumi <laughs> Edo guys masterpieces Through the front. Through the front. Are they just going to leave him trapped inside of here? They're all at the front door. Oh! <laughs> Wall banging him. Hijikata. <laughs> Damn. There's no way, though, like... 
Well, they didn't know all of them were going to be here like Hijikata and them, so they did not know what they were getting themselves into <laughs> at all, apparently. I give them, I give them some balls, for, props for just running right through the front door like that. <laughs> Why, hello there. Damn, he just tackled him. <laughs> Which we did see Sugimoto and and them by the mine. They're not even here right now. Damn. Don't tell me Ogata and Hiji kind of got their hands full with these with these soldiers. Come on now. Oh, there they are. There, there they are. Look how, look how Surf was on Yushiyama's back. So now they're here. Now they're here. Jeez. Oh. Ho, ho. Damn, Ogata was eating those those gun uh butts so he was buttoning with the with the gun like jeez that didn't even like affect him at all is <laughs> well you you wanted Sugimoto here he is yep his 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 priority instantly changes, and that's what ends up being his. There goes your Achilles, and you're probably dead. Oh, his actually, it actually got chopped off. <laughs> oh my god! Because after he sliced, it looked like his his foot was still there, but guess not. Yeah, they should probably retreat. <laughs> he's still moving too. He just he just kept moving. This guy's a warrior. I mean, he's lost his ear, lost his foot. He's still moving. He's still <laughs> It's crazy. The man is, uh, he's really smart. He's a genius, though. The Serpa being, obviously, Noparavo's daughter. That's what we, that's what we gotta find out. That's what we, yeah, that's what we need, the truth. Hmm. Ha, ha, ha. And we also did see that Edo guy left Surumi a way to be able to distinguish the fake, so he's the only one that knows how to distinguish them for now. Damn. As I was saying, like he just keeps getting out of these situations somehow and keeps moving. I think that's about it for for him. Don't think he's making it out of that. <laughs> the whole place well, almost the whole place burnt down. That's where they come from. The brains. <laughs> the brains are tasty, really.
when it comes to stuff like this, you gotta trust a Serpo's uh, plans. <laughs> I know Ogata has a shot, like he has a crazy accurate shot, but you gotta—he's gonna go with the Serp on this one. Yeah, can't blame the man. <laughs> And there you go. That's why you go with her. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's just doing it with her hands like that? Also, Ogata did manage to get a couple on his own. Just to kind of like try and one up her. <laughs> Dick Sensei, the return in the previous episode. <laughs> Look at Sugimoto, he's like a baby. <laughs> oh no. It looks so nasty to me. It looks like like chum from like the like chum bucket. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Would it be an episode of Golden Kami without some food being made, eating some food? <laughs> look, at Suki, look how Sugimoto's watching me. He isn't saying it. He isn't saying it. Ina, Ina. <laughs> Anagaki and Incarnate. Forgot that they even set off, yeah. Followed him here, and it wasn't this the kid that Tanagaki kind of saw himself as, like when he saw him behind the tree. <laughs> um. Well, damn, it seems like he's, like, fantasizing about this or something. <laughs> he's thought about this before. <laughs> Is this some kind of, this kind of, like, Siscon light novel plot or something? Like, sheesh. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I'm calling him Boner after that story. I'll stick to that. This is where 
Ijikata was imprisoned. Yeah, there he is. Ooh. Wow. So he was there for 20 years and didn't and did, had no idea that Hijikata was there. Waiting for his light to go out. Well, it doesn't seems like it doesn't seem like that's that happened. Obviously, <laughs> well, this is in the past, but like even still, now we are in the present. He still has that like fire in his eyes. Yeah. Definitely. the guy They go way back, way back. Oh, was that a younger, was that a younger, uh, him? Is that a, what he looked like when he was younger? Oh, wow. <laughs> Reckless Shinpachi. Gamushin. And that's a younger Hijikata? What? Damn. That was so long ago then. <laughs> wow. They look like totally different like than they do now. That's crazy. So if they look that different back then, then that, like, Sugimoto asking, like, how... 
Uh, maybe they did see him before. Or, wait, I don't know. <laughs> they have no way to distinguish them right now. Well, he got a good bit of that, that's for sure. <laughs> God. That is that does make them all sad. So the escape kid getting him in there, yeah, that it's the best way. <laughs> He's talking to him alone. Oh, shit. I was, this is what I was talking about. That it was going to come to this. Eventually, or like what would happen when it did come to this? Wait, no, there's no way this is happening right now. No, this has to be a dream or something. Please tell me he's dreaming. Okay, damn. And we saw that that's been driving Shirashi crazy. I mean, him dreaming about it, having nightmares about it, too, like. <laughs> well. Well. Found you. <laughs> Found you guys. Oh, man. So, going into, like... Uh, Gamushin and, and Hijikata's past, like, I mean, damn, see, see how different they, they looked back then? Like, that's, that's pretty crazy. Like, they, they almost looked like, nah, I won't, I won't say I knew, but they, they definitely looked a lot different, uh, than they, than they do now. I'm not saying they are I knew, I just said, like, they look like some of the Ainu people that we've, well, we think that we've saw in this, in this series. Um, like some of the older ones, like the men. But, um, yeah, like, th th that's, that's crazy that they looked like that different than, <laughs> than they do now. Now, granted, they've aged, but I'm also wondering, like, what, like, that was just a dream or a nightmare that, that Shirashi had, but it is going to come to that point at, at some point. I'm just like wondering in what way is it, was it going to happen? So there was that. Um, also, Surumi just wanting this, like he said, start chaos. He sent his soldiers to, um, like where Edo guy's place was, and trying to get rid of the evidence of the of the fake tat fake tattoos, excuse me, and, and all of that, uh, which. You know, he he lost some soldiers, one of his bigger you know subordinates too, that that was there, but you know Surumi just saying, oh, I just wanted to do this for for chaos. You know, right now they can't distinguish, you know, which ones are fakes or not for the tattoos. So, uh, there's that, and also uh, them heading to to the prison, uh, soon apparently where obviously Noparabo is, 
and still wanting to find out the truth and what revolves around that. So, uh, yeah, we're 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 getting into this, man. It's almost it's almost reaching that point. So, uh, it's still early on in this season, though. So, you know, as a whole, though, this is a a pretty good episode. Uh, once again, the group still well part of the group together in this episode. Like it was kind of like on and off with this one. I just feel like it's not going to last that long. Like at some point they're they're going to split or just something's going to happen to where they're they're not going to be allies, you know. So yeah, we'll see. Almost uh, on our way to the prison though, Abashiri. I can't wait to see how that goes or what's you know unveiled, the you know the truths that come out there, even like the lies even as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode of Golden Comedy. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.